about to put this video up this morning. Let's talk about a new way uh, taking on Stephen Fulton, uh, the purse. Um, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all the notifications, increase the chance of the notifications. We go live or drop video. Um, they cut this grass like every day, I feel like. But, um, but yeah, let's talk about the purses. Um, they split in the $8 million pot in New York Way, walking away with uh, with $5 million out of the split. Uh, Fulton going to take $3 million out of the split. So, um, and they, that's some good money for these small fighters. So, that's some good money. Fulton roared for like $4 million. So, I mean, he been getting paid. I mean, you got to remember, um, you know, he pretty much came out of nowhere. And got a damn good resume. That's something I should have spoke on the prediction video. I think he got wins over Joshua Greer. You know, he, you know, Angelo Leo. He got some great, great wins. So, um, very confident guy. And they say he's worth four million dollars. So being worth, I mean, you know, in the lower weight classes, these is this is great payout right here, bro. You can't find that type of money. That's why he's willing to go over to Japan. You can't find somewhere where you damn near going to double, double, depending on what they do on TV, he damn near doubling his net worth in one fight. So you usually can't, you usually can't find that. A fight that's going to instantly double your net worth. So the new way is, is a, is a rare, is a rare uh, commodity down in the lower weight classes. Somebody that bring the money. That's why, you know, the dude that had the other two belts in the division, Madron Drew, Marajan, Makanda, Amadea, whatever his name is. He was refusing to fight Fulton. He was trying to get the New Way fight to make that type of to make that money, but he ended up losing, uh, losing and getting robbed. So you know, that's what it was. But this a this a this a uh, it's a good fight for Fulton. I mean, if you're gonna go somewhere and get ice, why not get ice for three million dollars? And I don't think he's thinking like that. Everybody look at the ma look at him as in a matchup of, you know, uh, uh, he can punch. So, you know, if he can punch, you know, and the guy that, that don't, can't punch, he ain't got no chance, especially going on the road. So, really, it ain't no real pressure on him. You know, I mean, like I said in my prediction video, he can go about this. He can, He's a very balanced fighter. So, he can, go, he can go about this a number of ways. He can try to stay on the outside and box with him and outbox him and let him and make him and faint him. And, and make him make mistakes and work off his mistakes and counter him. Or he can go to him, try to gauge him, cut the distance off of him, get inside his reach, and then try to and then just try to beat him up and beat him up on the inside. And hopefully the referee allow allow you to work on the inside. So that's that's pretty you know, he got a couple of options and what he can do. And he may need to uh, excuse me. He may need to implement, you know, both options. You know, he may need to do both. He may need to work his way on the inside, do some boxing, then get on the inside and, you know. But, you know, once you get inside the power, then it becomes a fight of physical strength. That, I mean, I mean, that's something that he got to really consider. You know, if, you know, even if the boxing is working, you want to make sure he's convinced because anytime he land on the glove, he punch and he missed the crowd gonna go crazy. It don't matter. Land on the shoulder, you know. And the best way, the best way to take somebody power away is to take the core. But when you are not, you on the outside and you thinking about going to the body, you subject yourself to, to head punishment. On that inside, you just gotta, you know, you just gotta see if he can fight on the inside. The little motherfucker can hold though. He definitely can. But I see if he can fight on the inside. But like I said, it's a risk going in there. Andre Ward found that out versus Kovalev, but. They making some good money. You don't see that type of money floating floating around in the lower weight classes at all. So this is why you know Fulton is willing to put up with the glove bullshit. This is why Donier is willing to put up with the glove bullshit. He's a star over there. Over here, you know he's you know a lot of hardcore fight fans like him and love him, but it's no point for him to fight over here. There's no love for really fighters below 447 pounds for real. Javante Davis is one of the rare exceptions. This is why these guys all try to move up and stuff. So what he, what, what they making over there, that's great money. And maybe, you know, Fulton can win. Maybe they can do a rematch over there. Maybe you bring them back over to the U.S. 
Um, you know, maybe folk can come back over there and they'd like to have him for a fight without a new way if he do well. It's a lot on the line here. It's potential business, a line of business on the line here if he do well and win. You never know. An antique shoe company might give him a shoe. He might can always come over there if he needs to. So it's a lot on the line. But that's that's great money for the lower weight class. But ain't no love in the low, for the lower weight classes in, in America. And what you hear some fight fans say, well, they don't hurt each other. You know? The heavyweights reign supreme, but they really ain't been doing nothing. So now... You know, people gravitating to the welterweight division, you know, and going with Canelo at, et cetera. But, like I said, they getting that bad. And really, virtually nobody giving Fulton a chance. Nobody giving him a chance. And some people operate better like that. I mean, a new way might be faster. New way got power, got good footwork. He not just vanilla. He can do some things in there. So, yeah, it's an uphill battle. It most definitely is. But you know, sometimes you know that you know you ain't when there's no pressure for you to win. It's kind of like the guy in the gym that's a great spar, that's great in sparring, but he suck when the lights come on. You don't have that pressure going into the fight. Everybody think you're gonna lose. lose. Then you're going to get the best, biggest bag you probably going to get in your career. You move up to 26, you move up to 30. Ain't nobody else bringing that type of money. Not a Leo Santa Cruz, not a Oshaki, Oshaki Foster, not a, a Ray Vargas. None of them dudes bringing that type of money. You know? They're making well to way like type money, if not more. And it seemed that he got a very, very good split out the $8 million pot. He get three of it. So, and who knows what's on the back end. And, you know, like I said, there's a lot more on the line just than money. Just the actual money. And if he do well there, you know, he probably come back there and maybe he could be a star there. Maybe he get some business there. You know, so it's a lot on the line. But, hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And the subscribe button. Mr. the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Financially, want to support the channel? Cash App, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Excuse me, hit the link tree, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, you can Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, everywhere else. I'm at, appreciate y'all. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Uh, but other than that, man, appreciate y'all. Peace.